No matter how big of a reptile lover you are, you better know which is legal and which isn't. If you're unaware of the kind of reptiles you shouldn't even consider having, this video is just for you. So, let's get started with the 5 illegal reptiles you must not have. Pedopedia. A cometa dragon as a pet? Oh gosh, that sounds dreadful. It's no news that the cometa dragon is one of the most fascinating reptiles that resemble dragons. You will be blown away by their massive size and fearsome appearance. When you see such a magnificent creature, you will wonder if you can keep one as a pet. Let's be honest, pest animals and robbers will flee away if you have one of these lizards in your yard. But do you know how dangerous this reptile is? You probably don't. Komodo dragons are not just dangerous but also illegal to keep as pets. However, they are an endangered and protected species. Additionally, it's illegal to remove them from their native habitat without approval from the government. So, what's the penalty you think? Well, you might end up being incarcerated with prolonged jail time. You'll be surprised to know that a lot of people love giant snakes. And Burmese python is one of these. Unfortunately, as magnificent as these large snakes are, they have actually been considered injurious. Burmese pythons are one of the largest snakes in the world. However, due to their huge size and less docile nature, they threaten human safety and mammals like house cats or dogs. Besides, they can be highly invasive, so they are best left in the wilderness. On top of that, Burmese pythons were added to Florida's prohibited species list. Aside from that, the United States Fish and Wildlife Service lists Burmese python as injurious species, preventing the importation of these constrictor snakes into the United States. That means it will be illegal to have a Burmese python as a pet by law. Hellbender? What is this prehistoric creature? Well, it's real and it's the largest native salamander found in North America. This unusual amphibian can grow up to 2 feet long and is found in the western North Carolina mountains. And where do they mostly stay? They can be found chilling under large, flat rocks. An interesting fact about these salamanders is they breathe through their skin. So they are sensitive to poor water quality and are considered a bioindicator. So now, why are hellbenders illegal? They are an endangered species, meaning hellbender conservation is given more focus than having them as pets. It also means that harming a hellbender would become a federal crime under the Endangered Species Act. Tegus are considered one of the most invasive lizards out there. The black and white tegu in particular is native to Brazil, Paraguay, Uruguay, and Argentina. They are dog size, which means they can grow up to 4 feet long and weigh 10 pounds or more. Why are they legal? In February 2022, North Carolina Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission added the Argentine black and white tegu to its prohibited species list. According to the new rule, pet owners can purchase tegu lizards. Besides, their eating habits mainly consist of eggs of other birds and reptiles, meaning they can prove harmful to other native species. Are we talking about the Tuatara car? Nope, it's the Tuatara with peaks on the back. This lizard appears as an ordinary reptile from New Zealand, but it's considered as an unusual creature due to its look. Tuatara is threatened by humans who capture them to sell overseas for personal captivation. However, Tuatara is illegal to keep as pets, even though they are popular among reptile collectors. Shockingly enough, they are being stolen as they come with a high price tag overseas. Despite all that, they are illegal as pets. So, these are the 5 illegal reptiles that you must not have. Hope you have found this video insightful. Let us know what you want us to talk about next. Thanks for watching the video. Like, comment and share this video if you find it useful. Then subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for further updates.